Welcome to another video on the psychology of villains in anime. Today, we're going to be discussing one of the most iconic and complex villains in Naruto, Madara Uchiha. Introduction and Background Madara is one of the main antagonists in the series and is considered to be one of the strongest and most feared shinobi in the Naruto universe. But he's not just a one-dimensional villain, he has a rich and complex backstory that gives insight into his motivations and beliefs. Madara was born into the Uchiha clan, a powerful group of shinobi renowned for their Sharingan-i technique. The Uchiha were originally from the Hidden Leaf village, but their clan was ostracized and marginalized by the rest of the village due to their reputation for being emotionally volatile and prone to violence. Growing up, Madara was constantly reminded of the Uchiha's status as outsiders, which fueled his resentment towards the rest of the village. He became determined to prove that the Uchiha were the strongest and most deserving clan in the village, and he set his sights on becoming the leader of the clan. However, Madara's quest for power eventually led him down a dark path. He became disillusioned with the village and its leadership, feeling that the rest of the shinobi world was corrupt and in need of a radical change. This led him to form the organization known as Akatsuki, with the goal of bringing about a new era of peace and order through force. Madara's motivations and beliefs are complex and multifaceted. He sees the world as a cycle of war and suffering, and believes that the only way to break that cycle is to impose his own vision of a perfect world on everyone else. To him, this means using the power of the Ten Tails, a legendary creature said to be the progenitor of all chakra, to create an infinite dream, where everyone is happy and at peace. For example, when Madara confronts Naruto and Sasuke during the Fourth Great Ninja War, he explains that he plans to use the Ten Tails to cast a powerful Genjutsu that will make everyone in the world experience a dreamlike reality where all their desires are fulfilled. In his mind, this is the ultimate solution to the never-ending cycle of war and conflict that plagues the world. What's interesting is that Madara's motivations are not entirely selfish. He genuinely believes that he is doing what is best for everyone, and that his actions will ultimately lead to a better world. However, his methods involve a lot of violence and destruction, and his vision of a perfect world may not be what others want. Madara's character is also defined by his formidable abilities and tactics. He is a master of the Sharingan and has immense physical strength and endurance, making him nearly unbeatable in combat. He is also a strategic genius, able to manipulate others to achieve his goals and stay one step ahead of his enemies. In conclusion, Madara Uchiha is a villain who is defined by his complex motivations and beliefs, as well as his formidable abilities and tactics. He is a prime example of a character who believes that the end justifies the means, and who is willing to do whatever it takes to achieve his vision of a perfect world. In the next parts of this video, we'll delve deeper into his psychology and analyze how he fits into the larger Naruto universe. Analyzing Madara's Psychology Madara Uchiha is a complex and intriguing character in the Naruto universe, whose psychology is deeply rooted in his upbringing, experiences, and beliefs. From a young age, Madara was instilled with a sense of pride and superiority, as he believed that the Uchiha clan was superior to all others. As he grew in power and influence, this belief evolved into a sense of personal superiority, where Madara saw himself as a godlike figure who could control the world. The driving force behind Madara's goal to create a world without conflict and suffering was his first-hand experience of the devastating effects of war. Witnessing the tragic loss of loved ones, Madara came to the conclusion that the only way to achieve true peace was to impose it on others, even if it meant using ruthless and brutal means. His ultimate belief was that the end justified the means. Madara's psychology is also characterized by his talent for manipulation and psychological warfare. He was a master at anticipating his opponent's moves and exploiting their weaknesses to gain the upper hand. He deceived Abito Uchiha into working with him by exploiting Abito's desire for revenge against Kanoha. His strategic and tactical brilliance was also notable, as he was always several steps ahead of his opponents and could quickly adapt his plans when things didn't go as expected. His intelligence and cunning allowed him to outsmart even the most formidable opponents. Despite his formidable abilities, Madara's arrogance and tendency to underestimate his opponents have led to his downfall multiple times. For instance, he underestimated Hashirama Senju during their initial encounter and ended up losing the battle. 
Similarly, he did not anticipate the full extent of Naruto and Sasuke's abilities during their final battle, leading to his ultimate defeat. In conclusion, Madara Uchiha's complex psychology is a fascinating aspect of his character, shaped by his upbringing, experiences, and beliefs. His desire for a better world, born out of tragedy and loss, is a driving force behind his actions, but his willingness to use ruthless and brutal means has made him a formidable villain. His talent for manipulation and psychological warfare, along with his strategic and tactical brilliance, make him a challenging opponent, but his arrogance and tendency to underestimate his opponents make him vulnerable. Overall, Madara Uchiha is a multifaceted character whose psychology is crucial to his role as a villain in the Naruto universe. Madara's Abilities and Contributions to the Series Madara Uchiha is undeniably one of the most powerful and influential characters in the Naruto series. His extensive range of abilities and his contributions to the plot make him a formidable force in the Naruto universe. Madara's mastery of the Sharingan is one of his most impressive abilities. He is able to use this powerful eye technique to copy and counter the jutsu of his opponents, as well as to read their movements and anticipate their actions. His Sharingan is so powerful that he can even control the Ninetales, one of the strongest beasts in the Naruto universe. In addition to his Sharingan, Madara is a skilled hand-to-hand -hand combatant, capable of holding his own against some of the series' most powerful fighters. His agility, speed, and precision attacks make him a force to be reckoned with in battle. But Madara's abilities extend beyond just physical combat. He is a master strategist and tactician, able to outthink his opponents and adapt to changing circumstances. His manipulative skills are also a major asset, as he uses psychological tactics to turn his opponents against each other and gain the upper hand. However, Madara's contributions to the Naruto series go far beyond his abilities as a fighter and strategist. His formation of Akatsuki sets in motion a chain of events that ultimately leads to the Fourth Great Ninja War. His manipulation of Abito Uchiha, who becomes one of the series' major villains, is yet another example of how his actions have far-reaching consequences. Moreover, Madara's backstory and motivations are crucial to understanding the larger themes of the Naruto series. His belief in the cyclical nature of war and suffering, and his desire to create a world without conflict, reflect the series' themes of peace, redemption, and the cyclical nature of violence. His actions also bring to light the idea that even those who are considered the villains may have their own valid reasons and desires. Overall, Madara Uchiha's abilities and contributions to the Naruto series are numerous and significant. He is a formidable fighter and a master strategist, but his impact on the plot and themes of the series is equally important. Criticisms of Madara as a Character Madara Uchiha is a character who is both loved and criticized by fans of the Naruto series. Although his abilities and contributions to the plot are impressive, he is not without his flaws as a character. In this section, we will delve deeper into some of the criticisms that Madara has faced as a character. One of the main criticisms of Madara is his tendency towards overpoweredness. He is portrayed as almost invincible, with an incredible amount of chakra and an ability to defeat some of the series' most powerful characters with ease. While this makes him a formidable opponent and adds to his intimidating persona, it can also make him feel one-dimensional and predictable. Some fans have argued that his strength can be seen as an easy plot device to move the story forward, rather than a well-thought-out element of his character. Another criticism of Madara is his lack of character development. While his backstory and motivations are explored in some depth, he remains largely the same character throughout the series. This can make him feel flat and uninteresting in comparison to some of the series' more dynamic and multifaceted characters. Furthermore, his ultimate goal of creating a world without conflict and suffering can be seen as somewhat unrealistic and idealistic, and his methods of achieving this can feel contradictory to the very concept of peace and harmony. In addition, Madara's final moments in the series have been criticized by some fans. While his realization about the true nature of the world and the futility of his actions can be seen as a fitting conclusion to his character arc, it can also feel rushed and underdeveloped. Some fans have argued that the conclusion was not satisfying enough, leaving them wanting more closure on Madara's character. Despite these criticisms, Madara Uchiha remains a compelling and fascinating character. 
His abilities and contributions to the plot of the Naruto series are significant, and his psychology is complex and intriguing. While his flaws as a character may make him less relatable or likable to some fans, they do not detract from his overall impact on the series. Madara is a character who will continue to be debated and discussed by fans for years to come. Conclusion and Analysis Madara Uchiha is a character who has made a significant impact on fans of the Naruto series. His immense power, intelligence, and strategic thinking make him a formidable villain and a formidable opponent for the series heroes. His backstory and psychological complexity provide context for his actions, making him a character that is both fascinating and relatable. However, Madara's character is not without its criticisms. His overwhelming power and lack of character development can make him feel one-dimensional and predictable at times. While his ultimate goal of creating a world without conflict and suffering is admirable, his methods for achieving it through force and manipulation can be seen as contradictory to the very idea of peace and harmony. Additionally, his final moments in the series can be viewed as rushed and underdeveloped, which has left some fans feeling unsatisfied with his resolution. Despite these criticisms, Madara remains a significant and memorable character in the Naruto series. His character arc has played a crucial role in shaping the overarching themes of the series, such as the nature of power and the costs of war. Madara's contributions to the series, from his formation of Akatsuki to his role in the Fourth Great Ninja War, have had a lasting impact on the story. Moreover, Madara's character can be analyzed within the context of broader literary and cultural themes. His desire for a world without conflict and suffering is a utopian ideal that has appeared in many works of literature and culture. His use of force and manipulation to achieve his goals reflects real-world power dynamics, where those in power often seek to impose their will on others. In conclusion, Madara Uchiha is a complex and multi-dimensional character that has left an indelible mark on the Naruto series. While there are valid criticisms of his character, these do not diminish his impact on the series as a whole. Madara's strengths and weaknesses, and his ultimate role in the series' plot and themes, continue to make him a compelling and intriguing character that fans will remember for years to come.